Slayers. I'm the world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega oh, Slayer 64. Ya. And give me a second here. I want to make sure the audio is good before I, I'm going to turn it down in my ears. You probably, probably can't hear it, but I have it up super loud. But anyway, hey Slayers, I'm the world's coolest Sega enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64. And welcome to Sega Slayer Complaints. And I hope you enjoy this nice, um, smooth, uh, 60 FPS Sonic Colors gameplay in the background while I'm talking because, you know, I really didn't have anything else to I really didn't. Now, some of you guys might be saying, Sega Slayer, why are you recording? I really didn't have any other gameplay to put in the background, and I wanted to play Sonic Colors at the moment, so, you know, <laughs> kill two birds with one stone, you know what I'm saying? Play Sonic Colors and talk and make my video, okay? Now, you guys might be saying, Sega Slayer, I thought Sega Slayer Complaints was on Friday. And yes, it is on Friday, but I don't know if you remember it. Last week, I forgot to do Sega Slayer complaints. So it didn't happen last week and I completely forgot about it and I'm like, dude, I completely forgot about who Sega Slayer complains. So there was no Sega Slayer complaints yesterday and that was because I forgot. And <laughs> I meant last week and we actually ended up reviewing that um the terrible twenty M one game instead, but I mean I, I you know, I, I got laughs out of that video, you know what I'm saying? So I I'm I'm okay with it. But it's time, okay? We needed this video here today. And which button was it to go up? I can't remember. Okay, there it is. I, 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 I needed to get this video out because I owe you guys a Sega Slayer Complaints. And, you know, I'm going to do it. So there's going to be two Sega Slayer Complaints this week. But today's video, we're going to be complaining about copyright. Yes, copyright. Because copyright sucks, okay? It sucks. It, get, it has got me multiple times, you know what I'm saying? And... I, you know, I'm not a big fan of copyright. I don't think any YouTuber is. And it's like, copyright is like a YouTuber's biggest foe. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I mean, let's be honest here. We're, we're dodging the copyright system. Like, Sonic is dodging. Like, Sonic's dodging Amy at this point. I mean, let's just be honest here. We, we, we as YouTubers, we, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta make sure our videos are always copyright free. Or else you can get screwed. And you know, one of the things is, one of the things I do have to say is Sega doesn't give copyright strikes. Really? I heard they gave them a, given a few, but they don't give them really like other communities, you know what I'm saying? I heard, especially, probably, probably I think the ones I've heard the worst are um, Sony and Nintendo. And that's not just because I don't like those two companies, because, especially Sony, I really do not like Sony, but... Like, I hate Nintendo, but I can tolerate them just a bit more than I can tolerate Sony. Like, I do not like Sony. I have a PS3. Don't use it. You know what I'm saying? I have one, and I got it for a couple reasons. Just because just because I wanted to personally have a complete 7th generation uh, collection. Just because, you know, that was really my generation of all, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was born during the freaking 6th um, generation, but... The seventh generation was the generation I call my own. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 really why I want a complete collection of uh, seven generation consoles. So I have a Wii. You know what I'm saying? A DS, a DSi, DS Lite. You know what I'm saying? I still need. Uh, I th I'm missing a PS3, Xbox 360. I'm missing two things. I'm missing a PSP and an original DS. I mean, well, I'm not really. I mean, I don't really need the original DS. I'm I'm not really going for like a full on. I'm not going for a full-on like a uh, collection of all models and makes of hardware for each console. I just particularly want each console. But we're getting off point here, okay? Sony, I heard Sony and um Sony and Nintendo are really bad for when it comes to copyright. So, and I've experienced the Nintendo side of things firsthand. You know what I'm saying? They can be terrible when it comes to copyright. Down like cool. Cool, you know what I'm saying? Now, the thing is, right, copyright tends to hit a lot of us YouTubers. I should know myself. And there's different types of copyright, and if you're not a YouTuber, you if you're a YouTuber, you understand my pain. If you're not a YouTuber, you don't, you know what I'm saying? You're probably like, copyright probably isn't even that big, uh, as big of a deal as uh, Sega Slayer is making it out to be, you know what I'm saying? But you have to understand, right? A lot of work has to go into these videos that you're watching, you know what I'm saying? Even this video that you're watching right now, a lot of work goes into this. I have to set up the recording software, I have to do the person to edit the video i have to make sure the sound is right i have to make sure you know what i'm saying 
I have to make sure everything is right in this video. I have to make sure it's an enjoyable video to watch in the first place, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I have to personally also think of each idea that I do, you know what I'm saying? So you may be, be you might be like, suck a slur. You, this, it's no point, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, all this for, I'm not making a single dime off these videos, you know what I'm saying? These are just something I want to do personally. So you can imagine something I worked hard on, you know what I'm saying? Having the content taken down, having it like taken down or having it copyright strike or not being able to be viewed in certain countries because somebody at Nintendo was a little bit salty or someone at PlayStation was a little bit salty, you know what I'm saying? Or even I heard Microsoft it tends to get a lot of people, but I heard they also don't get people as nearly as bad as Sony and Nintendo will, especially like Sony for certain, like Nintendo and Sony, like especially I think Nintendo's a little bit bad, worse than Sony when it comes to copyright on that area, because Nintendo will get you for anything, like they don't care, okay, and some of you might remember this, other you, others might not, and I'll try, and, I'll, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description, but I made a video a while ago called My Top 10 Favorite Games of All Time, and and it still is to this day, although I was a little, I was really upset after that video. It still is to this day. One of my favorite games of all time was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, right? And so, because I knew I couldn't record footage of the game and I didn't want to steal someone else's footage off YouTube, you know what I'm saying? What I did was I took a literal, and keep in mind, okay, now keep going, there's this thing called fair use, right? And a fair use is anything used for criticism, you know, a parody purposes, or just in a lot of cases, under under 10 seconds of, you know, footage, you know what I'm saying, is per I think it's 10 seconds of footage is protected by fair use, right? 10 seconds of footage is protected by fair use, okay? So, me being, th me thinking I'm safe with fair use, you know what I'm saying, because a lot of companies on YouTube tend to abuse the copyright system, and, you know what I'm saying, Nintendo is no, like, no stranger to abusing the copyright system and I don't care if you could be the biggest Nintendo defender all you want to it's it's fact that Nintendo abuses the copyright system same thing for Sony they abuse it you know what I'm saying they and they and both of these companies abuse, abuse it like terribly bad and there's no denying it you know what I'm saying you can try if you're you know a super fan you know what I'm saying for these companies you can try and defend them all you want but there's no there's no defending these companies a lot of them abuse the co copyright system like very bad and essentially what had happened was this video I made, right, I worked really hard on, you know what I'm saying, I had to get, I had to, I worked hard on gathering, getting, finding the old clips of footage or games or recording the gameplay of the actual game I was showing you, you know what I'm saying, and I worked really hard to get it done. And also, okay, so like I said, I getting back to the point, I couldn't get, I don't have a 3, I have a 3DS, I have multiple 3DSs, I own multiple copies of probably not missed you, Dungeon Gates to Infinity, I think I own three. <laughs> like three of them for whatever reason and that was just because I either found them cheap or you know what I'm saying like I got one when, when Toys R Us was going out of business for like ten dollars five dollars one of them because they had so many games on sale you know what I'm saying or just picking it up at clearance you know what I'm saying the game that's because I love the game you know what I'm saying so any chance I have to get a copy of it I will get it, you know what I'm saying but I couldn't look this now I don't have a 3DS with test card and you know, they're starting to get rarer and rarer, so I don't know if I'll ever have one with a capture card, you know what I'm saying? I want one with a capture card, and I might, I don't know if I want to buy one with a capture card or get, because the ones you buy with a capture card are very expensive, or if I would rather just um, have my own personal one and mod it with a capture card, I haven't thought about that yet, and I still, and you know, because I don't know if I want to risk my own personal DS being recorded with a capture card. I'm getting off point here. I didn't have one with a capture card, and even if I did, I didn't have a PC yet. So, you know, there was no way I was getting footage off of that DS, you know what I'm saying, and a copy of the game. So, I didn't want to take someone else's footage on YouTube, you know what I'm saying. That would be wrong, you know what I'm saying. Even though, even though it would still be protected under fair use, depending on how much I took of it, you know what I'm saying, I still didn't want to do that, you know what I'm saying, so, I, what I did was, I took a five second clip, and no, it, the, the actual ad itself wasn't five seconds, but what I took from it was five seconds, I took a five second clip, listen, well, I took the original ad and took five seconds of it to make sure I was covered under fair use, because I know how Nintendo can be when it comes to copyright, so I took a five second clip, of uh, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, one of the Gates to Infinity ads, you know what I'm saying? One of the ads for the games, I took a five second clip, 
you know what I'm saying? And that's what I did, you know what I'm saying? I had it and I was ready to use it, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I, that whole video, right? Like three minutes after uploading it, got copyrighted. So it seems to say I was pretty upset, you know what I'm saying? Because, well, I just worked hard on this video, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's gone, you know, it's off, it's off of YouTube. So I was pretty upset, so I had, and YouTube, credit to YouTube somewhat in this department, because YouTube, they don't really help the problem. In fact, they pretty much just let the companies, they pretty much just turn a blind eye to companies uh, abusing fair use, and you know, it's, I mean, it is what it is when it comes to this. It's their site, they can do what they want, and you know what I'm saying? I, me or anyone else can't do anything about it, but I still think it's wrong, you know what I'm saying? And I will always say it's wrong, but essentially, YouTube didn't do anything about it. They took the video down. I even did, and don't worry, I filed an appeal for a quest, for a request for YouTube to, you know, handle the issue and put it back up. I was denied, okay? I was denied, even though the image was under fair use, I was denied, okay? And they took the video down, and so what I had to do was go back, and you can go back and see that video, and what I just essentially did was I took the video and editing, took the part where the Pokemon clip was, took out the clip, replaced it with a, a picture of Angry Saturn, which is, you know, it's probably going to be on the thumbnail of this video. I oh, replaced it with a picture of Angry Saturn, and the word, and some pretty mean words saying, screw Nintendo, you know what I'm saying, they took the video down, blah blah blah, but you could still hear the original audio of me saying, you know, I love Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, because that didn't change, it's still one of my favorite games, even to this day, you know what I'm saying, I'm pretty upset about it, but it's still one of my favorite games, I'm a huge Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fan, okay, I love that game series, you know what I'm saying, I love it. But yeah, it's safe to say I was pretty upset about that. So I replaced, you know, I was I replaced the, the clip with that, and you know what I'm saying. That video went on to be what it went on to be. But I was upset about that just because YouTube, how YouTube really handled the situation. They know I was protected under fair use, and they really just didn't bother to care. Like really, like I know YouTube has a habit for not caring, but and also even then, even then, right? And Nintendo also, you guys were just Nintendo was just being straight up heartless man like it was a five second clip that was protected under fair use and they took the video down like come on man and youtube on their end didn't do anything about it you know what i'm saying so i was pretty i was pretty there down there and you know i had to rush because you know i uploaded that video pretty late that day so um you know to make my streak i had to quickly rush through the editing process you know what i'm saying and it still kind of makes me mad the way that video turned out today but I can't do anything about it, you know what I'm saying, the past is the past, it is what it is, Nintendo decided they were going to take it down, it's gone, okay, it's still rare, but that the clip, they decided they were going to get me over a 5 second clip, whatever, their clip, I don't care, you know what I'm saying, I fixed it, but another, and so that was the first big problem I've ever encountered with Kyle copyright and is still remains the biggest problem i've ever fought with copyright over something just so stupid you know what i'm saying as a five second clip protected on the fair use you know what i'm saying but i've had my own other little gravels most importantly i don't know if some of you remember but i had for the longest time my original intro right my original intro was sun you know what i'm saying i'm gonna skip this because i'm my original intro was sun right and it, it went it was the one that went did but you you understand you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna show it here because I don't want this video to get copyrighted and there's two types of copyright to be fair to Nintendo and then there's two types of copyright there's copyright where someone takes your video down and then there's this copyright where you know they just copyright the video and place their um you know give their self credit in the video but it also that even then that copyright kills the reach of your video <laughs> Like, it kills that. It kills your video on the recommended list because YouTube's not going to want to recommend it. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, here I am with a, basically a dead video on the recommended. And now I look stupid because it's like, well, here we are. All So many of my videos, I probably would have been at over like three, maybe 300 subscribers now if it wasn't for the fact that this happened to me. But I, what had happened was, wait, go back. Go back. Okay, I had uh, I would have probably been at like 300 subscribers by now if the fact that what happened to me, if it didn't happen, I probably would have been good right now. But I'm on basically all my videos were getting copyrighted because I had my intro son in it, and this was the second time I had it, not the first time. And I also want you to keep in mind, right? The first time I had it, right? Good to the first time I had it, I never had a problem. Never. Okay, never once did I have a single problem. Every single time the video was there, you know what I'm saying? 
every single time the video was uploaded, YouTube, you know, they didn't care, they didn't have a problem with it, you know what I'm saying? They enjoyed it, if anything, you know what I'm saying? They didn't have any problems with it being there, they, they, you know, they, the original time I had the intro, there was no problems, it was fine, I never got copyrighted once, but the second time when I finally brought it back in late last year, you know what I'm saying? And there was the Nights and the Dreams and Daytona on it, the second variant of the intro. I I started, I randomly noticed, and I didn't figure this out until I had my PC. So I went, and YouTube never sent me an alert, keep in mind, okay? Every single video I was making was getting copyrighted, and I couldn't tell because they don't tell you on YouTube Studio or on phone. I had to figure it out when I finally got my PC. Keep in mind, I had that intro from, like, I want to say early September, late, middle September, about the middle of September, right? All the way until January 1st of 2021. Oh, not January 1st, January something of 2021 when I found out on my PC. But not once, not once, every single video, you can go back and check, they copyrighted me on every single video. And every single video, the reach of that video was killed because they decided they were going to copyright me. For all I know, I've made several videos during that time period that could have, for all I know, blown up on the YouTube recommended, but I'll never know because, you know, they killed the reach of that video, which is freaking annoying because it's like, oh my god, man. I sat here for so long and worked hard on all these videos just for you guys to decide, you know what I'm saying, you're going to kill the reach of the video just because, you know, I used, you know, and fair, 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 fair to the, to be fair to the people who uh, was copywriting me, right, because I want to be fair about this. I was, the song, I used over 30 seconds of the song, right? I did use over 30 seconds of the song, which, you know, that's being fair to them. So they did have every right to copyright me. And they also never did copyright me, right, to the point where my video was unwatchable. You know what I'm saying? They only copyrighted me to the point where it would kill the reach of the video, which was okay. But they never did copyright me to the, the point of, okay, now this video is unwatchable because these guys copyright me so you know that 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 is I, I am thankful for that and I do respect them for that you know what I'm saying but at the same time I'm more so mad at YouTube in the issue on, on the issue because they never alerted me that like, I never received the one single notification saying hey City Slayer, your videos are being copyrighted maybe you shouldn't use this song anymore so I kept using it you know what I'm saying not caring because I never got copyrighted before it was only recently that they started to copyright me and I don't know why maybe they just didn't notice my old videos maybe they just didn't care you know what I'm saying? Maybe it was never a big problem until recently, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, maybe maybe they just did maybe as my channel grew, you know what I'm saying? More and more they started to notice and it was like I was smaller way back then, so maybe they just didn't notice. But now that my channel was big, they somehow noticed. I I, I don't know, maybe someone random who who, who got recommended the song because I never tagged the song in any of my videos or anything. It was just there. So how they copy maybe it was an automated system that did it and just happened to lose certain videos to the songs and they came across one of mine and they decided to start checking but i don't know okay but yeah i was getting copyrighted every video and youtube never alerted me once so all the video the reach of the videos are all getting killed and you know because they're a part of the streak i can't go back and just and some of you might be a censor yeah some of you might be a censor just go back and you know and it's song out well i can't because that would involve me taking the video down just to edit the song out and maybe editing a different intro in, you know what I'm saying? And I can't do that because, first off, that's a lot of videos. Second off, second off, I also, am I glitched? Okay, second off, I don't have, you know what I'm saying? I can't do such a thing because if they're a part of the streak and if I take them down, I have to take them down and re-upload them, you know what I'm saying? That's no good because then it looked like my a huge chunk of my streak would be missing and the streak would essentially never exist, you know what I'm saying? So I, you know, I, I can't do anything about it, but I'm just more upset that YouTube never bothered to, you know, tell me, you know what I'm saying? I would at least, like I said, I wouldn't be upset if YouTube decided they were just gonna reach out, give me a simple, small little notification, because I don't think it would've hurt YouTube employees to send Psycho Slayer a notification. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, I don't think it would've hurt them to send me a little notification just saying, hey, Psycho Slayer, you do understand that your videos are being copyrighted? You know what I'm saying? I, I just, I don't understand if, if they, if they were lazy, you know what I'm saying? If something was going on at the office that day, or if they just didn't want to do it, you know what I'm saying? But, 
I think it's just really rude for you to not send me a notification knowing, you know, the, they were, my videos were essentially being killed and I, you know, I wasn't doing good on the algorithm or the recommended list or whatever you want to call it because of that song and that's where my main problem is. Like I said, like, I thank the people who actually, you know, made the song for not fully taking my videos down like Nintendo did because they fully took it down. You know what I'm saying? They didn't, they never took one of them down, not one of them, and that I am super grateful for, but I'm just upset about YouTube not telling me, and copyright can just really be a, a pain, especially, here's the thing, right? A lot of YouTubers don't have to deal with copyright. It's YouTubers like me, gamer YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? Us being gamers, you know what I'm saying? Or, well, us being gamers, you know what I'm saying? We have to deal with this type of stuff because game companies love to take you down. Same thing for TV show reviews or people who watch or, or, or who are people who talk about wrestling or people who do reviews on video games. You know what I'm saying? I mean, or people who do reviews on TV shows. Even people who review books and stuff, you have to deal with this. But it's not fair. If you review any type of media, you have to deal with this, and that is. It, it kind of sucks, but I mean, that's the way it's gonna be and gonna stay. And besides, this was just a little rant video from a nobody on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? YouTube could care less about me. I'm not making them any money, and they're not paying me any money, so why should they care, you know what I'm saying? I'm just the one who has to suffer because, okay, so I'm already not making money off these videos, and I also, by the way, keep in mind, when these videos are copyrighted, I also lose the potential to ever make money off of that, okay? I don't know if you ever got thought about that also, but yeah, if, if I ever decided that, I, if I ever got the chance and got lucky enough to monetize on YouTube, I would never be able to monetize these videos like ever, and it's not like these videos are ever gonna make any money even if I did monetize them. Even if I got like a million subscribers, these videos would never make money to the point where, okay, I'm okay with mon I can monetize them all, they're all gonna be good. They would never make money at all like that, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, it's a little sad at the state of YouTube now, and the state they're doing things, I'm not a big fan, you know what I'm saying? But really, that's the really end of this video, I really don't have much more to talk about. If you're a YouTuber, you know my struggle with copyright, and you know why I'm upset about it, you know why I, you know, make this video, and you know why I'm complaining about it. I, it's just, it can be a little frustrating, you know what I'm saying, trying to avoid copyright, and you have to really dodge copyright, because they can get you for anything, and, and also, did I mention also another thing, if you get copyrighted super bad, you can get strikes on your channel, and one strike, one strike is extremely bad, because YouTube essentially likes to blacklist people who get strikes, and if you get a strike, really, YouTube looks down at you for, like, basically the rest of your channel, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I've been fortunate enough to never receive a strike. And like I said, Sega, if Sega, let's say, and my channel is always at risk anyway, because let's say Sega ever decided they were going to start copywriting people, you know what I'm saying? They, they haven't done that, and, you know, I can only hope and pray they never do do that, but if they ever decided that was something they were going to do, I'm gone, you know what I'm saying? I'm gone, I'm gone, like, I don't know if you can hear that, but like, like, I'm gone like that, okay? Like a snap. I'm gone. Because I'm a channel who relies on Sega. That's literally my channel. And you know, some of you might be like, well, Sega Slayer, don't rely on Sega. But I rely on Sega because that's what I personally am into. And it's not like I make money off of this channel anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, I said, I'm I'm not making anything off this, off this channel. I'm not getting a dime off this channel. And I probably never will. I hope I do one day. But I probably never will, and even if I do, I probably would never get to the point where I could make this like a living or a job or something like that. But, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not making anything off this, so it wouldn't be anything. It would just also, the thing that would get me is, it would kind of be like a year of my life gone, because I don't know if you know this, but the channel turns a year old in a week. Next week, it turns a year old. You know, March 1st, I think it's next week, right? March 1st, yeah, next week, and the channel's a year old, you know what I'm saying? So... That would be a, essentially a year a, a year of my life, you know what I'm saying? And who knows, maybe two years, three years down the line of my life, gone. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, gone. Because I spent every single day thinking of ideas, making videos, and, you know, trying to entertain you all. That if something were to happen to the channel, I would be pretty upset, you know what I'm saying? Because, well, now I'm gone, you know what I'm saying? And that would suck pretty darn bad, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I'm hoping that that never happens, you know what I'm saying, personally. I, I hope I hope that doesn't happen, 
But, you know, if it does, it does. They get me, they get me. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really matter. It's nothing I can do. But really, that's the end of this video. If you're new here, if you could subscribe, that'd be really awesome. We're trying to raise 300 subscribers and you'd be helping us out a lot. Make sure to share this video with your friends and become a super slayer. I've been the one's cool, second enthusiast, second slayer 64. And until next time, have a good one, slayers.